All right, so today is pretty much just going to be a, like a cleaning up video. Uh, the VR4 was a big project, so there's uh, probably the same size mess. So I just have to uh, pretty much like dump the old, uh, what is that, um, antifreeze into a jug, and then this exhaust and stuff, this, this cat I'll save, this exhaust I'll probably throw away, these little like fasteners and stuff I'll save, this box over here I'll uh, throw in the other car, I'll probably go through it and throw some stuff away. All this stuff still needs to be put on the VR4, and then all these tools need to be cleaned up, and then, uh, you know, some uh, other stuff. I need to put that, take that diff, take that box right there, uh, the bumper, and I'll probably throw those those panels right there inside the car. This uh, drive shaft, like that front shaft and stuff, pretty much uh, this whole engine needs to go, and then the brakes and everything as well. So, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be pretty much just uh, a lot of like cleaning. I might do a time lapse. I might not. Let's see. Yeah, this thing's out of power right now, so I'll probably throw it on the charger, and then uh, you guys will maybe get like time lapse in uh, like a little bit. So we'll see what happens. But a lot of cleaning today is going to happen. All right, so I cleaned some stuff up. I got the subframe disconnected from the engine or unbolted. So now I'm going to pull the tranny and the transfer case off of this thing. Uh, probably pull the heads, the turbos, and uh, just kind of, because a short block is uh, no good. So I'll just take all that stuff off, and then uh, I'll throw the, the heads in my uh, container. <clears throat> the transfer case and the tranny I'll throw in that. The car uh, that I'm going to swap it into, and that diff as well. So uh, I already put the drive shaft in it. And uh, over here looks uh, nice and clean again. Well, you know, as, uh, as clean as it was before. So uh, I still need to clean the tools up, but I'm using them right now. So once uh, that's all done, uh, once I'm done with all this, I'll, I'll break clean and clean all the tools. And then uh, um, pretty much just kind of get all this stuff over to my container. And then... The bumper and the side skirts I'll take over the container. I was going to leave them in the car, but this one was kind of twisting because of the heat. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but look at the VR4 out there. It doesn't look too bad. So, uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll probably end up putting those brakes in that car as well because that's what I'm going to put those on. So those are a lot bigger, but I may not because I'd have to get different wheels. Or I might use those wheels or something once... Uh, so I could like sell it with the bigger brakes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I have like the whole like six speed conversion like swap for sale on the forum. But you know, like we'll see what happens. I have it listed for four grand. Like the trannies go for like like fifteen to two. The transfer cases are like fifteen to a thousand. Drive shafts are like two hundred. The rear diffs are like a thousand. Um, so uh, and then the brakes are like uh, it, it includes the brakes. So the brakes are like another like grand or like 800 bucks because they're like bigger calipers they're like the same size as the aka aka bono or however you say that the 370z calipers i think they're like in that class of size so yeah uh the transfer case is already unbolted and the tranny is pretty much unbolted so i just need to like figure out why it's not wanting to split and uh yeah a lot a lot of uh disassembly today from uh assembly and now disassembly. So you finished bleeding the four wheel steering on this thing. I just need to take some of that stuff. And there's like those lines in the back. I need to crack the bleeder valves on. And I'm probably gonna look at the service manual because I'm not sure if it has to be running when uh, you crack the lines or, or what. But yeah, I need to get this thing pretty much. Oh, and then I need to look at reverse because when I tried to put it in reverse yesterday, it uh, didn't seem like it wanted to go in so I feel that the, uh, I guess, like a common thing is the, uh, like, linkage hits, like, the radiator hose or the blow-off valve or something like that. So I'm going to just kind of look at it and make sure nothing's really in the way of any of that stuff. 
because reverse should work because it's a straight cut gear. So Trevor already like put a first start on his YouTube, but since this is like my project, I'm gonna do the first start of the VR4. I have everything, I was just bleeding the uh, power steering. I still need to go in the back and crack the lines, but it's pretty much bled. And then I need to figure out what's up with the oil pressure gauge. I guess they like the wires get old and like they uh, deteriorate so it doesn't read on the gauge. So I might have to end up replacing that harness down the road. But uh, the active arrow actually works, which is awesome because I can put it in manual mode and all the motors work. So you don't have to push the clutch in. Uh oh, I was gonna say, check engine light. So yeah, yeah, so the oil pressure doesn't read at all. I think it's just a, uh, an issue with the uh, descending unit on the engine, but the temp, boost, and all the other stuff works. It's shown that I need coolant, but I just filled it up. So it might just need to be, I hate that beeping. Where's the, where's that? Okay, here, here's the thing. Oh, Jesus. So, I need to uh, find the code for the uh, radio. I hope I can find it. And then, because it shows it needs a code. Code. And then, uh, do some, I need those four bolts, and I need new tie rod ends. And this thing is ready to go. So, uh, other than that, I think, uh, and then I don't know what this tour, I don't know how to turn this, Oh! Jesus. Well, that was the, uh, the thing. So yeah, looks like the temp's coming up and all that stuff. It's on tour. Right. But uh, yeah, it, 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 needs a, it needs a good washing and that dent probably be fixed. Here's all the uh, pieces of cat that finally made their way out. Probably some more left in there. The exhaust doesn't sound too bad. So, uh... So yeah, all in all, just a few more little things. Uh, I need to bolt the active arrow front spoiler on and stuff. And uh, I think that should be good. All right, so I got the VR4 pretty much done. I just need those four bolts and the uh, tie rod ends to actually be able to drive it. And I need to charge the AC system. So the four wheel steering, I think it's bled. Uh, I did what the, the FSM told me to do. It's like says crack it, turn it left a bunch of times, and then uh, then close it, and then do the right side and turn it right a bunch of times. But yeah, it's uh, sitting on the ground. It runs and drives. It uh, sounds pretty decent, I think. And I I really want to just like take it for a rip, but I'm just waiting on those those few little parts. So uh, yeah, it it came out really good. I uh, used some Jetta floor mats that were laying around that we weren't gonna use, we we're gonna throw them away. So might as well have some floor mats in there instead of no floor mats. So uh, probably just those tie rods, the bolts and charge the AC. And uh, I'll probably start like cruising that thing around a little bit to uh, see how, uh, how it drives. And then uh, I need to still do alignment and stuff like that. But uh, I'll probably do that after I put the tie rods. I'll, I wanna do wheels and tires uh, or just new tires. It just depends uh, what's happening. I uh, just cleaned a lot of stuff up in the shop. I like made a mess. Now it's nice and clean. Well, relatively speaking. So yeah, it's uh, a lot. Trevor's over there working on Supra, pulling stuff off of it. You're singing right now on the radio. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I'm about to go home uh, and uh, see how how the AC works. So we'll see. How that goes.